Does it still stand for five? No. Offender in custody. So I'm going to share some of these solid rock weekly announcements, several questions regarding service times in the future. So this email is being sent to inform you that three church services will continue to operate as normal. This is from 71915. This is when he was still married to Allie. He was still married to Allie, right? That him and Micah. That was 2016. I got 2000, married at 17, yeah. 2017. That's very strange. Okay. Dear friends, it's a note from the pastor. Dear friends, it's funny how the last series I preached was on tests, trials, and attacks. I can honestly say that I need to re-listen to my own sermons. Uh-oh, something's about to come out. Though Solid Rock is going through a big trial... There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I failed a test. I repented. I am, quote, a, and will for years to come remain faithful in counseling and have more accountability than ever. I sinned and disappointed you. I wish that I could please everyone who remains Hmm. Let's see, I could wish I could please everyone who remains upset by paying for my sin, but I can't. I cannot atone for what happened. The consequences of my actions are far more horrific than you could imagine, but I am not going to turn my back on God. God has given me a gift. He has anointed me to speak his word in a way that draws people closer to Jesus just because I failed a test doesn't mean that I am going to turn my back on God and stop using that gift. I was recently offered a full-time secular job that would allow me to leave the ministry and never have to deal with the shame or embarrassment of what happened in my past. If I took this job, I would have a more peaceful life with no problems that come with ministry, no headaches, no cell phone, and I wouldn't have to stand up and preach God's word while looking into the eyes of people who know I'm a failure. Although the offer was tempting, and though I will most likely take a part-time job on the side as to take care of my family during this season, God has called me to rebirth Solid Rock Ministries. I'm asking for your help. If I have sown any seeds in the lives, if I have sown any seeds in the lives of you and your families for the past nine years, and if there is a harvest available for me to draw from, now is the season to release the harvest. I am asking you to give me one year to begin to earn your trust back and make solid rock everything God's called it to be. And he's already listed out this. starting August 2nd, we will be going to one Sunday morning service at 1030 until the end of 2015. Anyone who is willing to serve or lead in some capacity, please meet in the sanctuary on Saturday, August 1st at 10 a.m. for a leadership slash servant meeting. As a side note, I am looking at bringing on a retired minister to help me pastor Solid Rock as well as redeveloping the structure of accountability. Solid Rock will be addressing trustees to our ministry. The trustees will consist of successful and experienced pastors from different areas in South Carolina that will oversee the fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. The trustees whoa trustees the trustees will consist of successful and experienced pastors from different areas in south carolina that will oversee the financials of the church mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. legal 
authority of the church and hold me, quote, as senior pastor, accountable for any and all decisions made at Solid Rock. They're giving him the money, but they're telling him what to do. So it's like a business owner that goes public on Wall Street. You don't yeah. necessarily own that business no more. You may be getting the money from it, but there's a boardroom above you that can say, get the F out. I wonder who they are. I'd love to know who they are. More digging. Oh, it's got it. Listen, it's probably it's probably pastors that yo, this this goes this goes this I is would be surprised if it's Dominion. Open. I would be surprised if it's Dominion uh, It's gotta be more than that. Do you, I dude, there's gotta be like some heavy hitters. There's got to be some heavy hitters. And I think now, see, I thought JP was, oh man, I bet you JP is cracking because of all the pressure from these trustees. Because he's been rucking, he's been running amok with the finances, doing what he's wanting. Kind of like, think about Alec Murdoch, right? Oh. For his law firm. Think, think, of, think about it like this. Yeah. JP being Alec. And the trustees being the law firm. Same situation. Yeah, yeah. The trustees are the law firm. JP running running around like Alec. And and then all of a sudden he's got to answer to the tr to the trustees. He's got to answer. Alec's got to answer to the law firm. JP's got to answer to the trustees. Look, you saw how Alec was cracking. Look at the cracking that's going on now. Oh God! The giggling, the wild stories. Your lies ain't making sense no more. Stuff's starting to come out now that totally discredits your alibi and everything that you're doing. Ooh. You guys, before today, I thought the the because listen, when it comes to financial investigations from the FBI, those things can take one, two, three years. Who knows, right? Right now, I bet you you just tacked on another year and a half to two years right here. Just <laughs> uh, and I hate to say it because I want the justice to happen ASAP right. because I feel like Micah's passing is connected to the financials at that particular web oh, when yeah. they get to it when they get to that part of the web i feel like that's when they will say oh we need to open this now because now we got to this part of the financial and it's showing that there was something you know uh but right here um i when it comes to trustees there's yeah right kylie silent partners silent partners that have a bunch of money and what do they want with a bunch of money? Think about our politicians, because there's a lot of politics in church, too. What do politicians do? Yeah, railroad companies will let you go ahead and, and control the, your own speed limit. We'll let you control your own safety measures. So that way, when there's a huge wreck and a chemical spill happens in a city that totally wipes out a whole town because you weren't taking the proper precautions to transport toxic chemicals uh well thank you for the million and a half well let me ask you a question when when was uh allison and jp's divorce finalized 15 right well i remember in the beginning there was people saying that in that the the whole thing that happened with solid rock recently after micah passed the whole seven eight hundred down to 50 had happened back during this period oh. and i bet you this is exactly what took place they found out he was cheating they said how can we support a pastor that's cheating on his own wife yeah. And then he's not even aware or taking accountability because you look at here. Guess what? We're going to be starting a new harvest. Here's the first date for the first service. Anybody who wants to come, come help. It's a it's a yeah. potluck open to everybody. And they, re, you know, because they said these old church members that were there back then said 
he could talk and he was able to just bring in a whole new, you know, he was able to go out there and recruit and speak to everybody. And he had a way to speak to people. And they said it didn't take him long at all to build it back up. Well, the reason why you ask is because just the way um, Micah's attorney or attaching, you know, like saying that Micah has half or some some part in the assets of the church, or I think that's what they're going after because he put all their assets yeah. into the church. They're trying to now, stop him from selling his assets to try because right. they know he's broke. He was broke before right. Micah passed. Yeah, exactly. So if he owned that building back in 1516, whenever they got divorced, why wasn't that part of Ali and JP's divorce? Because remember what the family said. The family said that he made Micah sign a paper that diminished what she was going to get in the divorce if they be, if they got divorced. He he coerced her to sign the, the document to minimize if they did kind of like a post nuptial. See what I'm saying? And I think that's what took place with Allie. Now, I don't know for sure. But you bring up a good point, and the only thing that would make sense to me is just based off of what Micah's family has said, what they, what he did to her, I could see him definitely doing it to Susie too. And that's maybe she didn't get any property; she just got a bunch of cash. That's why he latched on to her. And you yeah. know, probably to Allie, that was a, worth a lot more to her anyway, because why would she want a part of a property right. that? You know, you don't know if you're going to get it or not because of who he is. At least if you got the cash, it's in the bank. I, I agree, Susan Lee. Absolutely. Jesse Duplantis does not preach for free. You, you are right. absolutely And I wonder, why did he, you know, li listen, who says Jesse Duplantis who, huh, doesn't have part ownership, <laughs> doesn't have part ownership in it. And no. when he wants to, quote, give the jet to solid rock did he really give the jet to solid rock which is is that the story he's the one that gave he's, it he gave he gave jp and solid rock the jet he donated it to him that's a tax write-off if you donate it to a company that you're a silent partner on you just got free money from the government oh my god oh are we blowing stuff open tonight well, I always knew that God's next aim was at the Kenneth Copeland's Jesse Duplantis's. I'm not surprised by this. I just, I just find it funny how it had to go through this poor girl's demise, had to cover, uncover it all. Because they were able to, because Micah was such a fighter that they didn't know what to do. She was yes. a wonder. She was a Wonder Woman, eh? Mm -hmm. Not, all these other people might not have been the Wonder Woman, but she was a Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. You know, her in that outfit. Yeah. She was a Wonder Woman. And look, they, oh my gosh, what are we going to, because eventually you, it catches up to you, no? Yeah, yeah. Eventually you can keep sitting there walking around all, you know, primpy. And next thing you know, you know, real life happens. And it really makes you think how you are as a human being. And it, it could, you know, the force of, of, of her soul was so strong that it was moving mountains and they didn't know what to do. Uh, the next one is the, these pastors will be introduced to the congregation over the next six months. So they were introduced and guess, I wonder if Jesse Duplantis preached when was this posted hold on this was june right may hold on june 16th no july 6th so through december so did jesse duplantis in january that's when he was there oh wow of 2016 uh no i'm sorry of this year so, somewhere from okay so the people that preached, I guarantee you, these people are part of this trustee group. There's some silent partners, but mm -hmm. I guarantee you, the people that are part of this trustee group are going to preach as guest speakers so they can get all the tithings for that day. I guarantee you. 
mm -hmm. people out there, let mm -hmm. us know what yeah. were these what were these preachers from 2015 July, and we'll just say January 2016 just to cover an extra month. Right. Mm -hmm. On a personal note. So and so and I are commuting every day as we work through our future it has to be Ali. And if we and if we had to do it over again, we would have not involved the church in our personal life. Why? So because then everybody left. Hush hush. This makes it so difficult on ourselves and our children. It's especially hard to hear from God when there are over 400 voices, texts, emails and phone calls telling us what we should do. I thank those of you who have sincerely prayed, loved, forgiven, and remained on God's side through all the gossip, meetings, Facebook entries, and gatherings. I am also continuing all the counseling, inner healing, and pastoral counsel that I have been receiving for the next two years minimum for all you do who refuse to let a dream die, a ministry fail, a vision become blind. I hope to see you on August, Saturday. August 1st at 10 a.m. Thank you so much. God bless. PJP.